Hey guys, so it is day two. And my lips look like a horror show. <laughs> look at this. And they're still swollen. Like, I was gonna put some ice to try to, to um, get the swelling down, but I don't have any ice. <laughs> I realized I don't have any ice. But yeah, my lips are still swollen. I have a lot of scabbing and peeling going on. Um, Lord, Jesus fix it. Jesus fix it. <laughs> this is what a bad filler lip job would look like on me. And I'm realizing I hate it, like, ugh. But um no, my lips are still swollen, so this is day two. <laughs> so yeah. See all that scabbing. So I'm trying to like pray <laughs> that it like goes down and like this stuff just kinda comes off quickly. So it's been doing that since like last night. I was just like, what the heck is going on? And I thought the swelling would go down a little bit, but, and I feel like my bottom lip kind of has went down a little bit, but yeah, it's still there. So that's where I'm at. I'm glad we can wear masks. I'm glad we have to wear masks because if we didn't have to walk around like this, I would be looking crazy. 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 Absolutely crazy. <laughs> okay, so we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Hopefully better, smaller. My lips, the swelling goes down. I'm gonna put some ice on it. I'm gonna make, get, make some ice and put some ice on my lips to swell, get the swelling down, so, yeah. Y'all, today is day three, and my lips have went to Carnival Town. Carnival, like, they went down a lot. Like, my bottom lip, my top lip up here is went down. Now I just have this crustacean going on right here in the middle is driving me crazy like look at this what oh my gosh it's crazy my bottom lip was looking a little crazy yesterday but now it's like that's kind of cleared up and it's just like scabbing normally but my top lip like jesus fix it fix it like yeah, that's what's going on. Day three. My lips aren't as swollen. The swelling has went down a lot. But now I have this disgusting scab going on. Like I have a tumor on my lip. Whew. I'm so ready for day five. <laughs> day five, come on, day five. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like, for me, I feel like, like, with my eyebrows, it took forever for them to heal, to scab and heal, and the color to come back, and I feel like the lips are doing the same thing. Like, that whole five day, like, I feel like it's gonna take longer for my lips to heal than five days, because we're on day three, and then my bottom lip is barely even, like, scabbed off, because it's still fully orange. <laughs> But you could tell, like, if I lit her lit like this, you could tell, like, that's, like, a whole, like, scab or whatever. And then up here, you see? So, yeah. Thank God for mass. Thank God for mass. <laughs> All right, y'all, so day three. And this is what we're looking like.
Okay, y'all, so hi. It is day 10 <laughs> of my lip blushing. So, let me give you a close up. This is where I'm at now. Like, you saw all the photos before. And I had to talk about what was going on with my lips. Like, it was a complete, was and still is a horror show, okay? Uh, so, what had happened is I had a cold sore reaction. Um, so, it literally happened right here uh, where it popped up. The history behind this is. And this had nothing to do with Robin, nothing to do with her. Uh, she had asked me if I was prone to cold sores, and I said no, because I forgot. Like, it slipped my mind. But, um, taking it back to the past, when I was 16, I had ended up getting a sore right here. You see this, is like, kind of like a dark spot? And I thought that was um, a spider bite. So my mom took me to the hospital, and they gave me a prescription for it, and it went away, whatever. And so, come to find out, a year or two, whatever, later, it happened again in this same spot. And again, and again, and again. So, I was just like, am I having an aller allergic reaction or whatever? And that's what I thought it was, an allergic reaction. So, come to find out, when I was pregnant with the twins, you know, I got tested and everything. And they were like, oh, you know you have herpes one like the simplex version of it i was like what herpes so i went back and like yelling at my husband like da -da 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 -da. and after talking to my mom and looking it up it's an actual thing where most people have it uh but they just don't know it and it doesn't really um uh, it's really doormat so it doesn't really have any effect on them they don't have any uh breakouts of it but because my mom has it. That's how I know. And she usually gets cold sores like in her nose, in her, on her mouth, on her face. And so, and I was like, oh my God. That's what that was this entire time. Cold sores popping up right here. An outbreak of a cold sore for herpes. So I've been had it. I didn't realize what it was until like 2017 or 2018. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm prone to cold sores. So, yeah. And so, due to the traumaticness of the lip blushing and the tattooing and stuff, I got a cold sore. And so, that's where I'm at right now, dealing with this cold sore. So, how I'm treating it is I have a Breva, you know, the little from the drugstore medicine. I also have Lysine Plus and Clear. And I also am taking the Lysine Vitamins. Now, I had looked up somebody else's uh, lip blushing page and they had said to take, if you can't get the over, uh, the prescription medication, do the, the lysine or the cream 10 days before, keep doing it after, take the, the lysine pills before and after the entire time during the healing process because you do not want an outbreak of a cold sore. And this is why. And I was looking, 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 like, am I something wrong? Am I having an infection? Something? I, like, I don't know. And it was a cold sore. And how I know it wasn't an infection was because it started to clear up in seven days. Me using the pills and using the cream, it started to clear up. I even put toothpaste on it. <laughs> because toothpaste has some medical necessities that can help get rid of a cold sore because i put it on here before and it dried up quick it went away like that and the last time it happened i put it on here right before it even turned into a sore sore and it went away so yeah guys that's where i'm at day 10 still with the pinkness right here and with the little sore right here so we're gonna keep going my lips are dark now they're supposed to get darker before they get lighter so it's just, and I, they still feel super dry. So we're just waiting for them to finish peeling because they still are peeling. And for this to peel off and completely heal. So I'm gonna give you a close up. Who Jesus. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna go through this. And I wanted to share this because all the stories on YouTube, 
of people getting lip blushes. So, so pretty. It's so nice. It's a da, 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 da. No. This is the ugly side of it, okay? Like, this stuff happens to people. People get uh, cold sores where they get lip blushing. And there's not enough videos about it when it happens to people. So, this is why I'm sharing my story. So, I'm going to keep continuing and we're going to keep on until we get to a good healing point. So, I will see you guys in a couple days. Hey guys, it is two months almost two months post-op like post-op like I had a surgery but no since I've had my lip blushing whew, it has been a journey okay and um so I had a cold sore and as you can see my lips are still recovering from the cold sore or not even the cold sore just getting my color back in my lips like the normal color because it's still like orange right here Especially this spot right here and it was bigger and the color is coming back thank god and it will be back it's gonna take a little time so and i will say and do a close-up this is the color of my lips they still look reddish <laughs> i think over time i don't know what do you guys think do they look lighter they do look lighter to me I think it kind of has like a reddish tone to it, kind of. Just because I think my lips are still in the healing process. I feel like with the, the tattoo, it takes, or the lip blushing, the eyebrow, it takes time. Like it took forever for the color to come in right here for my eyebrows. So I think it's the same thing. It's gonna take time. Maybe another month or two, this will be back to this normal color. I do feel like my lips are lighter. Now, are they gonna stay this reddish tone? I don't know. But, yeah, that's where I am almost two months out. Almost two months. I do have a, a another appointment coming up, which I'm a little nervous. But, I have a plan. I have a plan, guys. So, I am going to, I'm going to, I'm turn the air conditioner now. I'm going to be, um, going to my doctor and getting first of all I needed to message her next week to see about this because I might have to push my appointment because I don't know if I can get lip blushing when it still like looks like this you know because the appointment is coming up soon so but it's still not being completely colored in I don't know if it's necessary necessarily okay for me to do the second procedure so, but anyways, when it's time for me to, I'll talk to her about that and see what happens. But when it's time for me to do my procedure, I'm definitely going to be uh, going to my doctor, getting a prescription for Valtrax or whatever it is you can take for cold sores, like two or three days post. I'm gonna be using the Lysine Plus, the Abriva, and I'm still taking the Lysine Vitamins to ensure that I do not get a cold sore at this time, the second time around. So that's my plan for that. And they that's what everybody who does, when I Googled it and they have it on their website or whatever about the cold sores, when you're before you get the lip blushing, that's what they all suggest. You do take medication preview before your appointment and uh, you just have to, because if you're prone to cold sores, it can, interrupt the healing process it takes longer to heal as you can see and um it could mess up your lip blushing to the point where it doesn't work and it doesn't lighten your lips so i think for me i have to say i'm still healing uh, my lips are still especially on the bot top uh, i still have like some little bumps or something I don't know. Um, mm, yeah, like right there. I have some little bumps, but they're going away. 
and it's taking time. So that's all I could really do. And I had to wait for my lip, for the color to come back in. That's, I, there's nothing I can take, nothing I can do for that. It's just, it is what it is. So that's where I'm at guys, just still going through this process of <laughs> waiting, healing. As you can see from the progress from when I started the second day to now, it has been a crazy ride, but it has gotten better because at first it was like not the greatest <laughs> experience. But now that I know, I can prepare and like, I will keep you guys updated on my next updated video of the healing process. Hopefully by the time I do that video, this will be all colored back in. Maybe like a month from now, hopefully. And I might have had my second session. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah guys, so uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, Check out my other videos. Check out my lip blushing video if you have not seen it. Hit that bell for notifications so when I post new videos or when I post updated videos of me going through this lip blushing process, you'll be notified when I post the new videos. So thank you guys for watching and stay posted because I will continue to be posting about this. Bye.